do you consider the legacy of a hundred reasons very much and what it's done for people uh, i know a lot of bands have been you have been inspired by you guys a lot of bands still reference you now as an influence and obviously you're still touring people are still coming out and people are still motivated and you know thousands of streams in you know in modern times etc so do you consider the legacy of a hundred reasons very much or does it not really cross your mind you mentioned not sweating the small stuff but i suppose the legacy of you know many many years in a band together that's probably quite a big thing so so how do you define do you think about the legacy of 100 reasons you guys um i mean yeah not massively i think like andy Buse might do because he's kind of in the touring world so he sees quite a lot of people in bands and stuff that know what who we are and what we've done and stuff um but for me i'm not sort of massively around that so you know it's I can sometimes think back on things and go, do you know what? That was really cool. That was awesome. That was amazing. That kind of thing. Because there are moments where you sit sometimes and go, oh yeah, I did that, which is awesome. But, you know, it, to sort of think about it in sort of that much depth, it's just, I, I probably don't. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, it's flattering because it's it's rude to say you're not flattering. If someone comes up to you and says, oh, I loved your band. Your band was amazing. They had a real special meaning to me. That's obviously very flattering, but... I'm just not in an environment where that sort of happens all the time anyway. So for me, it's just, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. I'm, I'm kind of the same. Um, I know for a while, because for a while, most, a lot of people that I work with are probably too young to have been into, into <laughs> our band. Um, but I do appreciate the legacy. Actually, listening back to stuff, basically to practice it on guitar, as I've been doing for the last however long, um, because I don't ever listen to old Hundred Reasons records, you know, it's just not something that I ever do. I know some people do like listening to their own music, but it doesn't doesn't really do it for me. But going back through and sort of relearning parts and listening to stuff, I'm like, hi, oh, these this shit's pretty good, you know. <laughs> so that's that gave me a bit of an appreciation for it. <laughs> but yeah, but it's it even seems ab- like it even seems abstract, like the amount of tickets we sold for this tour. Until I'm stood in a room and there's like thousands of people there, I, I swear I'm still going to be looking at all of them, going like, "What the fuck are you all doing here?" Like, because <laughs> at the moment it's also at the moment it's just it's just numbers on a spreadsheet when we get sent ticket sales figures, but it's like I can't believe all these people are actually buying tickets. So <laughs> it kind of seems a bit abstract until it's going to be right in front of us very soon. Yeah. <laughs> but you know that's a, a good problem to have, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm I'm super excited to, to see you guys again on this tour. We'll, we'll talk about that at the end, and obviously because it's coming up pretty thick and fast. But uh, yeah. along, alongside legacy, I do want to ask you about about success and the definition of that. Now, not necessarily as a band, but because because you guys have grown up, you guys have grown up with the band, but you've also done other things with your lives as well. So, as people and as artists. And if they're one and the same thing, how do you define success as, as, as uh, yeah, how do you define success as people and as artists? And are, and are they, is that the same thing? Uh, uh, would, whoever wants to start on that one, because I guess it's a big one, can start. That's a massive question. <laughs> I mean, I suppose for me, success is, is more about, I don't think ultimately I would ever turn around and go, you know, I've been successful. But I, right. I've had what I would say are moments of success. And success is is generally to me sort of linked to satisfaction, I suppose. You know, if I've done something that I'm really proud of, then that's success, you know, um, sort of for me. And so I suppose it's it's overall sort of happiness and satisfaction. It's definitely not a monetary thing um, because in fairness, in regards to sort of 100 reasons, it's never been about that. It's just about, hopefully writing great music and playing great shows and and that kind of thing so you know success is when you come off stage after playing a great show and the crowd's loved it and you've loved it and you've had a good time you know that's it, it's a multitude of things so i don't think it's about sort of ultimate success you know it, it's to me it's it's a culmination of many sort of smaller things and events and as long and so i suppose to me it's kind of like it's like people talk about achievement. What have you achieved? And generally, it's sort of micro achievements for me, you know, small things um, that have just gone well. And so I suppose, you know, as a massive question that could take far too long to answer, really, in real terms, for me, it's about, you know, sort of ongoing success, you know, and like we say, you know, the new single comes out and fans like it. 
to me, that's a success. You know, we've got shows coming up with, you know, loads of tickets sold. That's a success, you know, and, you know, you're going to play to some, you know, have some fun times. The album comes out and people like it. That's a success. You know, it's, it's yeah, it's kind of why I look at it. Cool. Not one thing. Yeah, it's, it's a big question, I realise. Larry, anything to add to that? Well, you know, make yourself happy in this day and age and you can probably count yourself as being successful because exactly. that takes effort and that takes work. You know, the work on relationships, work on your life, work on your work. You know, if you can get that to a point which uh, which you can, can acquaint to happiness or as cognitive satisfaction, I think that is success. It, and it's t- it took me a long time to get to that point. Even through when we were doing stuff in a band that would have been seen as successful, it didn't feel successful because, you know, you hadn't figured out the rest of your life. So, you know, in life, success is if you find, find yourself in a place of happiness when you're surrounded by people you love. That's success yeah. to me. Yeah. Um, I guess like musical success, I'd say, which I think is what we've done on this record, is if is if you can have an idea of how you want something to be, want something to sound or an emotion that you want to convey across to other people, and then you can listen to something which does carry that message and carry that emotion. I think in musical terms, that is that is success. And that's why even before this record has done anything, um, I see it as a successful record, regardless of how many actual copies it sells or what it does commercially, because it has conveyed I think what was in our heads very succinctly and very directly. Um, yeah. So yeah, musically, I think that that's successful. 